Ciao ragazzi. Welcome back again to the Champions League edition for the JSG podcast brought to you by the Juventus Club of Singapore. As for today, uh, due to unforeseen circumstances or daily life, two of our guests can't make it. But today, surely have a special guest in the house. It's Andar Sofian. Hi, Andar. Ciao. Hi. Thank you again for coming to this channel and, uh, and discuss with us and share with us of your opinion of the, our next match against against who, Andar? Karen Paros. It's hard to pronounce. Karen uh, Paros. Hungarian club. Hungarian team, yeah. Okay. So, Andar, what's your expectation of the game? Um, you know, like last time, I'm, 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 I'm telling you after a game, we, we were a uh, draw, lose, and, and, and we come back at Petzia, we won it. Yeah. I think we have to follow the trend now. We have to keep winning. So, it's, I guess it, it's going to be a win game for us. And uh, it's a away game, so it, it's good to it's good to have a winning game here, and you know, especially in Champions League. Uh, for me, it's a hundred percent or must to win both home and away against Ferenc Faros and Kiev. Uh, so after that, whatever happens in Juventus Stadium back when we play Barcelona and. Next one in in Camino, it's 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 okay. What will what happens? What will happen? Happen that happens after this twelve twelve points we get. Barca stay at Barcelona. So uh, uh, we also hope that the mental of winning will keep on continuing. Means whatever we yes. left, we spent here, we're gonna go forward with Penas Baros. As you can see, yeah. uh, now Fenas Baros is the league leader in the Hungarian uh, league for now. Because their last game, I think they drew one all. As for Juventus, we have that uh, winning, uh, how to say, winning streak of uh, we beat Spezia for one. Like people already said, it's Spezia. But for me, win is win, no matter. Who you play? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, agree with you. Yeah. So, do you really have the optimistic that we going to win with a large margin in in Hungary? Um. Yeah, we we gonna we gonna we gonna win a good we gonna win, but it's it's gonna be a really you know like hard game because. It's it's never an easy game if you playing with um, Eastern European team, yeah. uh, especially with this team, the Ferenc Faros. They're really good at home, you know. Like um, statistically, uh, they they play thirteen games at home for the European, you know, European tournament. They 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 last time they they lose was in ninety five. So it the, the record was like uh, six win and five draw. So it's it's last time even last time they play uh, Kiev it's uh, two and two draw right. Yeah. So it, it's gonna it, it, it it's gonna be a tough game but we are gonna come out winning. Yeah, because I think we we played very well with the formation against Spezia and I hope that Pirlo won. A gonna stick to it or he have other plans for the formation and for players because when 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 i see in the in the media that uh, some of the fans post or maybe juventus post they are going with the 442 formation so do you think this is a good idea to to put it 442 or we should remain as a three five two, because when the last game against Spezia, as you can see, Otter did well when he played 
just in front of Konuchi when he can control the game. So like like what you say like on the last time that uh, the podcast that you prefer McKenny and Rabio to play in the midfield. So I am agree with you because as you can see against Petia, they did really well. Both of them play alongside together. So what is your thought when the lineup or the formation is out that they're going to play the formation of 4-4-2 this time? Yeah, I guess it's just the same with, you know, like 3-4-1-2 or 4-4-2. It's, it's just the same. It's just the same. It's just, you know, on paper, it's, it's just both the same. Because everything, when you play on field, it, 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 it makes no it, like makes no difference between 3-4-1-2 three, three, or just 4-4-2. Four, four, because we, we don't have really like two center backs and two wings. We, we have this hybrid, hybrid quadrado who can play everywhere and and also uh, Danilo on the left who can you know like become a center back at when when you know like the three center back when when we were attacking so it, it's going to be just the same I think uh, I won't I I don't think Pirlo will change the winning team you know like maybe adjusting um, Kiesa to Kulusevski and 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 put. Cristiano instead of Dybala and the others stay the same. So, uh, oh, and b- besides actually, uh, Zeth says me to Buffon. Wow. So, 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 uh, what we see is this the mirror is on a red card. Yes. Yeah. So, he's going to miss this Champions League match. Yes. For sure. So, we are. Lucky enough that Chelini recovered. Yeah, Chelini is back. Yeah. This is will be how to say like a win-win situation means we don't know. Will he play in for ninety minutes or he's gonna get injured again? So this is a risk that that that, that the the coach is taking. So, but as usual. The presence of Kalini does does make difference in the in the fullback. So, what's what's your thought about that? Yeah, I guess we are we are lucky we're losing Demiral and Kalini is back on time. I guess uh, Kalini who's will gonna play like um, from from the beginning, but I hope or probably the plan is when we are uh, in front enough you know, like by 2-0 or 3-0 then we gonna subs and subs in Farabota to uh, Kielini so it's, it's gonna be like Quadrado on the right and uh, Danilo and Bonucci in, uh, oh, Danilo, Danilo will and Bonucci will yeah, yeah, yeah. and Farabota uh, on, and, uh, on the left I think that's, that's the, the idea we don't have choices actually, so that's that's the the only idea. Or if it's like emer- really emergency, we can put McKenny on the position. But I don't think we will be in in that urgency as long as it's not like early, you know, early injury in, injury or or something like that. I hope it it it's not happening. So are you happy that uh, CR seven is back? When you can see uh, what he does, he changed totally. He changed the game when he came in because the option. Not only he's a good player, but he knows well how to place himself and how to change the game. So, does he really makes a difference in the team? Yes, for me, uh, um, the big the the number one problem with Juventus is uh, we we have bad mentality. You know, it 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 may be because of the Sari era. You know, we don't have that leader on field, and we don't have we don't have enough confidence and and things like that. But then, um, when Cristiano is not on field, we don't have a leader. Yet. As well you know, on field, so I think uh, the this 
when you have Cristiano back on field, it's 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 like bring up put up everyone it's in in the in the hype, you know, in the hundred like hundred motivation to everyone to please well. Yeah, it, it's it's bring motivation to everyone. I think um, bring motivation to everyone on and off the field. We can see how how ex- exciting yeah. how excited Pirlo when he he when he put um, Cristiano back on the field and when he scored his first goal and how how happy you know how relieved it is yes, yes. for for yeah. for Pirlo you know yeah, yeah I agree so are you going to see more goals from Cristiano against Ferran Varos yeah I guess yeah he's he's a Mr Champions League he's gonna score in Champions League you know like he gonna score at least two and I hope I hope Morata gonna score more than the far <laughs> yeah, <laughs> time. Maybe that hopefully, how to say the curse of the bar should should be gone. Yeah, so it should be gone right now. Yeah. When Cristiano is back, it should be gone by now. So then again, uh, yeah. let's talk about this this player. I think everyone uh, was uh, not really happy with his performance right now. You know who Paulo Dybala. So things that we want him, we, we it really like last season he did play well for the for for the team. But nowadays he's I he have to change from a boy to a man. But and then about his contract, this and that does it really mentally disturb him with his playing? Do you think so? Um, I don't think all the contract the contract matters is really have is really got to do with his performance. I think it's about he and himself uh, adjusting with with the with the coach. You know, like he he was bad at uh, last year of Allegri, and people was blaming at Allegri. Then he was good last year. Actually, not really good last year. He he was good at. The after after the lockdown he was very good, and um, and now he gonna he face another 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 era with Pirlo. I think he he doesn't know how he doesn't know where to put himself on the on, on the formation. It's either he is too creative by 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 going everywhere and not staying in front, yeah. or it it it. Pirlo need to like, you know, really talk to him. Like you have to stay on, to stay there. How 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 can we see McKenny more on that position than than Dybala last time we we play uh, Spezia? So it's 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 a strange. His 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 transition from from midfield to to striker it's 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 kind of strange for me. Maybe maybe. That is that is not his favorable position to stay in the front. He wants to do extraordinary of running the whole pitch, supporting players, this and that. Maybe that's what he wants. So I hope like uh, Pirlo uh, will have a good good talk with him and settle all this problem and hopefully Dybala will be the player that we want him to and uh, hopefully that lots of people is, uh, want him to stay there's also people want him to move because of his performance maybe we are too early to judge to judge him yet so like like what Pirlo does maybe it's too early for him to, to judge Pirlo, when he only, how to say, in charge for several games. Maybe for until when the month of January onwards, we will see how he transformed Juventus to become great again, a great era that we used to. So, like now, as I, as, as I said, again and again because of the pandemic 
loss of team is unpredictable. Like, yes. example, in papers, they are a winning team. But actual, they, they even can't really win the match. That's what happened to us too. So I guess in football, yes, we, we can win, we can lose, but no matter what, it, it's too early to judge. So hopefully the team can bounce back with a new winning streak. They have to, how to say, step up their mentality and winning streak again. That this is the time that we cannot step back and relax. That lots of team are moving forward. So we have really, really have to have that mentality to win every game and to get every point that we want to because we every fan won't forget that the road to number 10 is very important to us. So in that case, after after the UCL, we're gonna go to Olympico to meet Lazio. So maybe because what you see in the formation, Kiesa is not playing. So is it Pilo wants to keep him to Lazio or or how? Because when the time Kiesa plays well with Dinamo Kiev, and you can see when he plays alongside with Ronaldo on the second half, things are going better and better. But why was she not included in the lineup? What's your thought? Um, I don't know. We 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 don't know actually who's who's gonna play with with whether, whether it's gonna be Kiesa or or Kulusevski. But but for me, uh, both are okay. Both are uh, playing in the same position. Uh, the role is almost like the same. Yeah. So we cannot keep those two all together on field at the same time. So it's it's just I think it's just matter who's more fit. To the you know to the system and the fitness level and everything it 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 doesn't doesn't really uh, have a tactical issue with bit between them actually for me for me yeah so I guess it it's just matter of choosing which one is 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 in a better shape between those two and and the role itself it it. If we talk about about um, Kulusevski, somehow in the Champions League he's like mentally more nervous than Kiesa. I don't know what happens, but probably uh, maybe by by like you know in terms of international level, Kiesa is more more having an experience, so it it does make a difference. That's why probably this time. Um, Pirlo gonna try to introduce more time for Kulusevski to play in the Champions League than the Kiesa. Because, um, you know, uh, Pirlo is building a team that is that is aimed to go full on attack, you know, attacking team, play a beautiful football. And this, trans this transition must uh, take a process. It, it's gonna be, maybe, at least for me, at least, six months. So we're gonna be at the peak of it by the February or March. Yes. Uh that's that's what I thought about this team. So we have to, you know, we have to keep on supporting them. Uh be, because we our prob our our problem is mostly on the field. While the other teams like Barcelona we, we saw the news that they got trouble in finance as well. But we don't have that, you know like other team also have an issue with with salary, with contract and everything. But we are we are lucky enough to have our own stadium and everything. We have to we ha we have everything in a in a perfect condition comp compared to to like the other team even in Serie A. So, okay. Because because now as you can see like, uh, this pandemic is coming how to say coming back to Europe. It's laws of uh, European country is this is how we, we call it the second wave. 
lot of players, I think lots of us, countrymen, it's been, it's been infected by this disease. So, are you, do you think that international break is, is a, a good idea? Um, yeah, we're going to have an international break after Lazio. I don't think it, it makes any sense because uh, for the European uh, countries, it's going to be a friendly match. It, it's not sense, to, you know, like to risking players traveling all around Europe, um, risking themselves. Uh, to COVID while the second wave is there and it's real, yeah. you know, but for the vulnerable uh, country, you know, the South, South American, they, they're going to have a World Cup qualification, so it, it's more important for them. But yeah, I think it, it, it's okay, you know, like you cannot, it's hard to postpone the qualification, but it's okay, you know, like to postpone or to cancel the, the friendly game. It's, it makes no sense to push go through the friendly games with in this unfriendly, you know, unfriendly condition. Yeah, with the infections and don't forget if injuries. Because when you play this type of game, you don't know when you can get injured, this and that, because you got long way to go for your own own league at your own country. So hopefully, hopefully yeah, and, and it, things can change. Yeah, and, and it's already a really tight schedule as well. You know, like we we play every three or four days now. People, it's, 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 it's crazy. Not, you know, even us, the fans, it's, it's crazy for us to wait, uh, you know, look, stay up late every three, four days. Yeah. You know, and and yeah. I can imagine how hard for them, you know, to, to play and training, play training, play within within three three days. It 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 it's crazy. It, it's yeah. they they won't never back hundred percent before every game. They're gonna lose like more and more and more power and stamina along along the year. You know, it, it it's hard. So yeah, it's a, it's another problem to face. Yeah, hope, hopefully this uh, football federation can temporarily postpone about this uh, international break. And once once everything is back to normal, then I guess it, it it's okay to to have that match again. But now, yeah, hope, hopefully that uh, to avoid them from getting infected and avoid them to get injuries. It's, we, we can't we can have more injuries to the players, we can't have more infected to the players and everything has to be stopped. That's what we doesn't want it to happen. So, so for, for, for yesterday's match, a lot of team, a lot of upset that a, a strong team can lose or small team can win so are we going to see this happening again in this in this group or in this any other big team maybe yeah i don't i don't follow actually i don't really follow another team you know like, like in 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 a way but i guess it it really depends on the condition you know i um like today, our uh, J under twenty three is going to see this series isolation again after one of the striker, the capi the capitano, Rafael or something. The 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 captain is is got infected by COVID, so the whole team uh, will be stay at the hotel. Yeah. So you know things like this happen, and it happened a couple times this this season, and it's really gonna give impact. To the to the squad and to the to the game because we 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 understand that as long as the team uh, have certain players that is uh, tested negative they they yeah. they have to play so you you can imagine if it happens to Juventus and we only have those thirteen uh, like defender and midfield no strikers let's say 
it, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be crazy crazy game lah itu you know or 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 the other way we have all the strikers yeah but no defense you know it is gonna be a crazy crazy game so you know with the with this covid we don't really have much power other than yeah it's 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 a strange it's a strange year it's a strange season to yeah to follow yeah okay uh, okay before before end anything that uh that we hopefully that uh, things can get back to normal and as again juventus going to hungary with this uh, winning mentality so what's your prediction of the game what's your score i think we're gonna win by uh, 4-2 we're gonna concede again yes 4-2 we're gonna concede too so who's your goal scorer will be i think two two goals by cristiano and one goal by morata yeah, and morata Is Morata one, Cristiano two. The VAR is it Morata. Eh, uh, maybe one far. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, and yet, and the other one is Kielini. It's gonna be like a a goal that then he can say, Kielini is back. Ah, again, yes, yes, Kielini is back, and Cristiano is back. So now it's Kielini is back. So yeah. I think when when Dilik is came back when he's scored, yeah, he's you know, he's gonna score and Dilik is back. Uh, so it's it's a, some sort of like a tradition now. Yeah, it's, okay. it's a new tradition now. So okay, Andar, thanks again. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your opinions and lots of great fun and laughter we had. But but before we go. We'd like to uh, shout out to all the uh, subscribers, the new subscribers. Don't forget to follow this channel, to subscribe, like, or even share to all over the world. So take note that we'll be back for match day number four with a new guest and a new special guest in town. So as again. Please do follow JSG podcast. Like we will update you every week with a new guest and a new topic for the day. So Anda, thank you again. Thank you for. Thank you, thank you. It's an honor for me. It's an honor. Uh, with this uh, podcast, and uh, we hope that uh, the mentality of winning will keep on continue and continue yes, yes. to the road. Yes, yes, yes. That and not forgetting. Our goal is to win the Champions League Cup. Champions League, yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. Ciao, ciao, thank hey, you, thank you. Thank you. Forza Juve. Ciao. Forza Juve. Ciao. ciao.